This year Halloween fell on a weekend Me and Ghetto Boys are trick or treating What's good people? Welcome to the Uptown Horror Review Show Yo, I was not able to release a video last week And I feel absolutely terrible about that But uh I've been having this problem where I haven't been able to find any books that are entertaining enough for a review. So uh, for 2021, what I'm going to do is I am going to go back and review all of the books that I've read throughout the years and all the books that I have fucking loved. And I'm going to review them on the channel, man. So uh, we, we, we are starting off with Urban Gothic by Brian Keane. I hope you like this video. I hope you leave a comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my motherfucking channel. Let's just get right into it. So this book opens up with this group of six suburban teenagers, right? It is late at night. They have just left this rap concert and, you know, they are all driving home. And the guy who's driving the car, he takes like a he takes a wrong turn somewhere and he manages to get them all lost, right? So now they are driving through one of the most dangerous areas in North Philadelphia and their car fucking breaks down. So now they are in the middle of this shitty ass neighborhood and they have no choice but to just wait for AAA to get there and, and hope and pray that nobody walks up to them and starts fucking with them, right? So before you know it, some of the guys from the neighborhood approach our group and and they start questioning them, right? They like, yo, what, what is wrong with your car? What are you doing out here so late at night? And yo, one of the kids from the group, like a fucking idiot, he just, he, he yells at them and he shouts at the top of his lungs and he calls them the worst fucking racial slur that you can ever use, right? So yo, the second all his friends hear this, all, all of the, the, the kids from the suburbs, they turn around and they fucking run in the opposite direction because they already know what's about to happen, right? So they are all running, trying to find somewhere to hide. And you know, they see a bunch of run down, dilapidated houses everywhere. And in the midst of all that, they also see this, this giant abandoned Victorian house that just sticks out like a sore thumb. And for whatever reason, they all gravitate towards this house and they all just run straight to it, right? And yo, even the guys who are chasing them, once they see this group run into that house, they 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 just immediately fucking turn around and they like, yo, it ain't no way in hell we going in that house. So let's just leave them to their own devices, man. This shit ain't even worth it. So we follow the guys in the neighborhood for a little while and we learn that everyone in this neighborhood from a young age, they are taught to stay far away from this house, right? Nobody knows if the house is haunted. They don't know if the house is just falling apart and it's like a walking death trap. All they know is that anyone who is dumb enough to walk inside this house are never seen again, right? But of course, the suburban kids don't fucking know that. So, yo, they walk right into this house and it is the worst mistake they ever could have fucking made. The group runs right into this house and, you know, they all huddled up together and shit trying to get their bearings. And one of the guys in the group, he's like, yo, I'm going I'm to take a peek outside and I'm going to see if they still following us. And if the coast is clear, we'll all just go back to the car. Right. So, yo, he reaches for the door handle and the shit is jammed and it does not want to open. They are trapped inside this fucking house now. Right. So, yo, they hear like noise behind them. So they all turn around. And out of the darkness of this house emerges this fucking eight foot tall freak of nature. He looks like he looks like fucking Andre the Giant mixed with uh, uh, Sid off of the Goonies. Right. So, yo, this guy, he has like a, a, a giant thing, a rebar with, with a cinder block attached to it. And, yo, he looks at whoever is standing closest to him. He fucking cocks his mallet back. He swings that shit and he knocks this kid's head clean off. So, yo, the rest of the group see this happen and they all scatter in different directions. And now it is like every man for himself, right? So they are all walking through the bowels of this house now. And they see that this place was designed in a way that just doesn't make any sense, right? So there are hallways that'll make you go in circles and, and you'll just be walking forever. There are like, uh, there are fucking doors that you will open and they open directly into a solid brick wall. 
And it just seems like this house was invented to keep people trapped inside and keep them from ever escaping. So as if that wasn't bad enough, we also learned that the, this 8 foot tall motherfucker who just killed their friend, he isn't the only one who lives in this house. He has this, this whole clan of his fucking ilk who, who lurk the shadows of this house along with him. And each one of them has their own fucking brand and flavor of depravity and, and cruelty that they are just waiting to hand out, right? Like, yo, there, there, there's one of them who likes to fucking skin people alive and wear their skin. There's another one that he's like a, he's like a, a, a deranged little person running around stabbing people and shit. And it's just like, yo, the, the, the deeper you go into this house, the more fucked up they get and the, the, the more disturbing shit you are going to see, right? But yo, let me tell you, man, there, there is a whole bunch of fucked up shit that happens in this book. And what I'm saying in this review, it is just the tip of the iceberg, man. Like, like, yo, you, you cannot imagine how fucked up it gets and how depraved it gets, man. So if you love extreme horror like I do, this shit is a must read, man. And, and the fucking sequel is coming out, I think early next year. It is coming out soon. But yeah, man, this shit was off the chain. Now, if I had to give this book a score, I would give it an 8 out of 10. And that's my review, man. Uh, Urban Gothic by Brian Keane. I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. And with that, I'm out. I hope you like this video. I hope you leave a comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my motherfucking channel. I'm out.